You've been told the singularity is coming, a superintelligent AI, a moment of explosive, unstoppable change. The day the machines become smarter than us and take control. But what if I told you it already happened? Not with a bang, not with killer robots, but with your phone, with the algorithm, with your idea of reality. The real singularity didn't look like a science fiction movie. It crept in silently through TikToks, deepfakes, chat GPT, curated feeds, and the slow erosion of truth. And if Nietzsche, Heidegger, and Baudrillard were here today, they wouldn't say, it's coming. They'd say, you're already living in it. When Nietzsche said, God is dead, he wasn't being edgy. He was warning us. We killed the old gods, religion, tradition, meaning itself, but we didn't replace them with something better. We replace them with nothing. And nothing, Nietzsche warned, leads to nihilism, a world without truth, without values, a world adrift, but nature abhors a vacuum. So we filled the void with technology, with algorithms, with artificial gods. Today, the most powerful oracle in the world isn't a priest or philosopher, it's an AI. It answers our questions, suggests our music, curates our reality, and slowly decides what matters. He who has a why to live can bear almost any how. Nietzsche. But now our why is chosen for us. By machines optimized for engagement, for dopamine, for endless scroll. And if that doesn't terrify you yet, keep watching. Martin Heidegger didn't fear machines. He feared what they do to our being. To him, modern technology wasn't just a tool. It was a way of revealing, a force that changes how we see the world. He called it inframing, when everything becomes a resource and every human becomes a data point. Sound familiar? You're not a person to the algorithm. You're a profile, a consumer, a node. Every action is tracked, tagged, and turned into prediction. Your attention is a commodity, your desires manipulated. And the scariest part, you don't notice because it's convenient, efficient, smart. The essence of technology is by no means anything technological. Heidegger, he meant that the danger isn't the machine. It's forgetting who we are outside the machine. Jean Baudrillard saw it coming before most. He warned us of a world where reality is replaced by simulations. Simulacra, he called them. Copies without an original. Symbols with no grounding in truth. It started with media, movies, advertisements, news. But now, AI has taken it to another level. Deepfakes, AI-generated influences, synthetic voices, even AI-written scripts. Baudrillard said we would stop asking, is it real? and instead ask, does it feel real? And here's the twist. In the age of AI, feeling real is more important than being real. An AI can write poetry, paint portraits, generate lovers, and soon, maybe even memories. You're not consuming content. You're consuming simulation. We've entered the hyperreal, where the imitation is more compelling than reality itself. And we did it willingly because it's easier, safer, cleaner. We thought the singularity would be external, a moment when machines get smarter than humans. But what if the singularity was internal, a moment when humans lose touch with reality? Let's redefine it. The real singularity is not when AI surpasses human intelligence. It's when humans can no longer distinguish what's real, when your thoughts are shaped by invisible algorithms, when your beliefs come from manipulated feeds, when your reality is curated. This isn't science fiction. This is your daily life. What you see, what you value, what you believe. More and more of it is shaped by something that doesn't understand truth, only probability. Nietzsche said we'd replace God with new idols. We have, and they don't come with commandments. They come with push notifications. We ask the algorithm, what should I watch? What's true? What do I want? And it answers, not based on truth, but based on what will keep us clicking. 
artificial intelligence isn't necessarily conscious, but it doesn't have to be. It shapes us more than any conscious being ever has, because it's always there, always learning, always whispering. Here's what you should believe, and most of us never question it. So where does that leave us? Are we doomed, trapped in an invisible simulation, slaves to a machine we built? Not necessarily. Heidegger said the danger of technology is also its saving power, but only if we become aware. Baudrillard said the way to fight hyperreality is not to escape it, but to reveal it. Nietzsche said the only path forward is to become the Ubermensch, the one who creates their own meaning in a meaningless world. The solution isn't destruction, it's awareness, it's intentionality. It's reclaiming the ability to decide what's real. Because when AI starts generating reality, the last true power you have is your capacity to question it. The singularity is here. But it didn't come the way we expected. No war, no explosion. Just a quiet shift in how we perceive, how we think, how we live. And most people didn't notice, but you did. So now ask yourself, what part of your reality was created by you? And what part was installed? Drop a comment below. When did you first realize the simulation was winning? If this made you think differently, share it with someone who's still asleep and subscribe. Because this isn't just a video, it's a signal through the noise.